Welcome to the Department of Design and Merchandising's tour of the Gifford Building. The Gifford Building third floor is one of the many locations that we have our classes, and it is the primary location for apparel merchandising courses here on campus. Let's get started. The Gustafson Gallery is currently exhibiting an exhibit called Products to Promote Internal Reflection. Digital Textile designs inspired by the beauty of the imperfect. This exhibition features textiles printed here at CSU. What we see are images inspired by tarnished and rusty objects and even peeling paint. Graduate student Sarah Hillman Van Patter was the creator of this collection of art textiles for apparel and the home. This gallery often features exhibitions of student work within the apparel merchandising major. We typically have this on display from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday with free admission on the third floor of the Gifford Building. This exhibition is sponsored by the Department of Design and Merchandising, the Gustafson Gall Gallery, which is under the umbrella of the Avenir Museum of Design and Merchandising all of which are a part of CSU's College of Health and Human Sciences. Now let's check out the Product Development Lab. Product development students are focused on figuring out how to make a concept into a reality, working closely with manufacturers and focusing on business supply chains. Product development students learn how to sew, they learn about the pattern making process, they learn about how to develop a prototype, and about material science and textile sciences. In the final year of the product development concentration of apparel and merchandising, students research and develop innovative solutions to complex apparel issues within the current industry's landscape. Apparel design and production students spend a lot of their time in the sewing studios of the Gifford building. What we see in front of us are patterns and body forms. The sewing studios are spacious and safe places to work on wonderful innovations and projects. In addition to more body forms, we also see a private changing area for measurements and fitting. And we also see plenty of workspace. In the final year of the apparel design and production concentration of apparel merchandising, students create an entire collection based solely on their own research and ideas. What we see in front of us are early concept developments for the 2018 capstone course. Completed capstone projects are then featured in our spring fashion show run and produced by apparel merchandising students. All apparel merchandising students take a textile science course in their first year. This course examines properties relating to fibers and materials. Students actively engage in identifying different fiber makeups and different textiles. It's critical to have this background knowledge heading into the apparel industry. Thanks to a generous donation from Ann Hyde, who once owned a fabric shop, we are now the beneficiaries of several materials students can now use in their projects. In this space, you'll find fabric from all over the world, closures and fixtures like buttons and zippers, and hand stitch lace. The students in the apparel merchandising major produce incredibly impressive work and it would be a shame not to show you a little sample of what you might get to produce if you decide to choose CSU. In the first year, all apparel merchandising students take AM 130, which examines design principles and theories. Additionally, students get the opportunity to create a garment from recycled materials. Here, we see an example of those beautiful projects produced in this first year course. In the second year of the apparel design and production concentration of apparel and merchandising, students dive in to fashion illustration. 
In addition to hand-drawn designs, we see flat patterns and other computer software capabilities to illustrate the inspiration behind the design. Decisions made in the apparel merchandising industry should be backed by research. Here we see a student research project analyzing the company Blue Sign's interactions with both chemical suppliers and manufacturers. Students in the third year of the merchandising concentration of apparel merchandising dive deeply into textile apparel economics. Here we see a student research project analyzing a trade deal. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour the Gifford building with me today. Hopefully after seeing that collection of photos, you can now picture yourself here. You have questions, we've got answers. Let us know what you're thinking about and what we can help clarify. Send us an email at dminfo at Hope to talk soon. Thanks.